David Brown Mini Remastered Ocelli Edition 2021 UK Review More power and more focused suspension adds some purpose to the convincingly entertaining Mini Remastered. What is it? David Brown Automotive's re-engineering of the classic Mini is a thing of loveliness, if as well as some cost. But it's more at home around Knightsbridge than it is on a twisting beer road, which is a balance this limited number Ocelli edition, named after the famed engine tuner that supplies its tweaked 1450 cubic centimeters A series engine, is meant to shift. The basics are the same as other David Brown tweaked minis, in that they take a donor car plus a new heritage shell, which comes supplied to original specification and is then deseamed, coated and reworked and basically sorted out, before having the 125 bhp motor installed, driving through a 5-speed gearbox and a limited slip differential. The 60 off Ocelli edition runs on 13 in rims and the front track, as you might spot, is wider by about 5mm than the rear, while the suspension receives non-adjustable Bilstein dampers and a few bushing changes, although fewer than originally though because DB wanted to retain some compliance. It has. What's it like? The interior is pleasingly finished with fixed back bucket seats and a half cage, and harness options, although none of that changes the mini-ish driving position, nor the fact that despite this being a tiny car, you don't feel cramped. It's only 3.05 m long and 1.47 m wide but the windscreen is a distance away from you as it is on a modern minis, while there's a short legged long arm driving position with a heavily angled wheel which you get used to very quickly. Likewise the offset but deftly weighted pedals, which lend themselves to the heel and towing you'll need given this twin so carbureted engine doesn't want to rev cleanly under heavy loads below around 3000 rpm, while after that it roars impeccably cleanly up to a 6500 rpm redline. On full throttle, or in fact on part or no throttle, the unassisted steering darts around but always lets you know what it's up to, and because there's some compliance and roll in the chassis, even though this is a sub 800 kg car, steering weight, feel and feedback build linearly. On track that translates to a car that's all about its front end, as I understand classic racing minis often were. As you first turn, on a trail throttle or brake, the Ocelli edition is very mobile and from apex onwards, under power, the steering gets a bit stickier and the front hangs on extremely gamely, while the back sort of hangs out behind it, drifting around four square like it's a trailer or on casters. That kind of hyper-agility and lack of stability is evident on the road too, in a way that no modern hot hatch would be allowed to leave the factory hunting and sniffing and moving around. But because it's so small, and so superbly telegraphed, it's entirely appropriate for this car and actually thoroughly good fun. Eventually it runs out of travel and shows the body's lightness, but has the sort of give of a Toyota GR Yaris rather than a Porsche 911 GT3. Less finessed, you might argue, than something like an Alpha Holex GTAR, but not much less entertaining. And a fair amount cheaper. My drive was relatively short but the Mini doesn't feel overtly wearing either, especially given the high-grade interior and its level of initial compliance. Should I buy one? We're suckers for the regular Mini Remastered and this, then, is no exception. Sure, if you took an old Mini and spent the 1200 hours David Brown's technicians do, you'd have a car to your specification that was, maybe, just as good. But we don't all have the time or energy, 
and if you're looking for a really lovely, turnkey car to win over even really cynical old codgers like me, look no further. Put it this way, yesterday I had a Porsche and a 15 mile back road journey to make, but if I'd had an Ocelli Edition Mini Remastered 2, I'd have looked no further than that. Technical Specs Model Tested Classic Mini Remastered by David Brown Ocelli Edition Price, £98,000 Price as Tested, £108,000 with Roll Cage Engine, 4 sills inline 1450 cubic centimeters petrol transmission 5 speed manual drive line layout front engine front wheel drive power 125 bhp at 6200 rpm torque 113 pounds foot at 4500 rpm 0 to 62 miles per hour 7.8 SEC Top speed 100 miles per hour Curb weight DIN 780 kilograms Approximate 